Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rex Capital and welcome back to the Rex Capital channel. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video about the P-multiple, which is a valuable data science indicator that just showcases to us periods of outsized potential return for Bitcoin investments when Bitcoin is undervalued. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. We'll be looking at the historical tendencies in the P-multiple and how we could use this to our advantage for accumulating in undervalued errors for Bitcoin's price action. Let's dive right in. So the P-multiple isn't an indicator that highlights to us bottom periods. And we can see that from this bottom over here on the P-multiple. In fact, if you focus on this bottom in the P-multiple, this is approximately a low, but then we see a lower low in the next higher low for the P-multiple. So in fact, we're seeing a mirroring effect where we see lower lows in price and higher lows in the data science indicator. So that's quite interesting to see because people think that the moment the P multiple enters the green era, that's when we should be buying. But actually we have to really pay attention to that because that isn't precisely the bottom if we really hone in on this. This is close to the bottom, but still some down downside can actually occur. So that's really important to note, as well as the fact that this bottom corresponds to a lower, it's the, the first low, but a lower low in a series of lower lows. So price can still go down, but nonetheless, it does highlight to us an area, an approximate area which has preceded fantastic buying opportunities for Bitcoin. But at the same time, at the same time, we're seeing a consolidation area for Bitcoin right over here. But what about this area, for instance, when we've dipped into the very depths of this outsized return area, the green area here? You can notice that, of course, when we revisit this area for the first time, you're still seeing that we're not at lows, in fact, once again. But once we deep, deeply dive into this area, then this is where we're actually noticing a low for Bitcoin's price action. And in fact, we enter a accumulation area, an extended consolidation area, much like we saw over here. This is a consolidation area in Bitcoin's price action right over here. When we're in a area of downsize, or at least outsize potential return for Bitcoin, where Bitcoin is undervalued. And here, once again, we have a consolidation area and the P multiple is in this undervalued area. And this P multiple essentially showcases to us how miners are reacting to the market, because if we're seeing a volatile price action for Bitcoin, Bitcoin's price action is declining quite severely, then of course, miners are going to be selling their Bitcoin to cover their fixed costs when it comes to their mining rigs. So miners do panic sell to just cover those fixed costs. And this is how the P multiple is calculated. It showcases undervalued areas of price action for Bitcoin as a result of this minor psychology. So in some sense, it isn't minor capitulation, but it does showcase to us when miners are particularly fearful because they need to cover those fixed costs and they're afraid that Bitcoin's price could go a little bit lower and they'll start to be actually in loss and not a profitable business anymore. So that's P multiple in a nutshell. But let's look at this next area right over here. Here we see the P multiple reach the area, the outsized return area once again. And lo and behold, of course, really important to note that we don't quite hit the bottom here, but then we hit the bottom after a while. And of course, we form a accumulation range right over here. Same thing can be said right over here. But what's interesting about this period of outsized return on the P multiple is that we form a accumulation error at highs rather than the March 2020 crash, which is a deviation. That's quite interesting because we tend to see accumulation ranges at the very bottoms of market cycles in 2015 over here, right? With this accompanying um, P multiple and here 2018 as well where we see the lows on the P multiple. But here we see an accumulation range at highs when we see very low levels on the P multiple. Quite interesting, but this is only the one 
two, three, four, fifth time in history that we're seeing this P multiple flash to us that we are entering a period of undervalued Bitcoin. And one of the things that I wanna be watching for going forward is this higher low. We haven't quite contacted this higher low just yet, but it will be an interesting region to watch out for because remember, the fact that we're in this green P multiple region doesn't necessarily mean to us that we're at the very bottom. The P multiple can still go towards the downside and price could still follow it as well. Historically, in fact, the moment we touch this green area hasn't preceded bottoms, but we are close to a bottom according to this P multiple. And I'd be very cu curious to see how this P multiple will behave once we reach this higher low right over here. And in fact, if we look at the line of best fit across the entire history dating back to 2011 for the P multiple, then you'll notice that the line of best fit right over here is this. We have one, two, three, four, five touches four touches because we have a deviation here. So we're still quite far away from the line of best fit. And in fact, if we deviate below the line of best fit, that would be the most, the best opportunity if we get it. But if we slightly, slightly change the, the trend line here, because remember, it is the line of best fit. It does hit on the most data points on the P multiple, but notice how this point isn't contacted by the trend line. So let's focus on a trend line that actually hits on this higher low, but it isn't then the best line of fit because here we see many points of contact with the trend line. But if we just focus on this higher low right now being contacted, you'll notice that we don't see perfect connection right over here. And in this scenario, the P multiple is contacting the trend line right now but we have to then focus on deviations below this trend line for the best financial opportunities for Bitcoin buying. So depending on how you want to look at it, do you want to look at it on downside deviations, which are very brief below this trend line, which isn't the line of best fit, but it does accommodate for this very infant and nascent high or low over here? Or do you wanna just focus on things being the line of best fit where we have the best sort of contact and the best sort of trend line, the validity of this trend line is the best. Then we'll just notice that the P multiple is still, still has a ways to go. But nonetheless, we are in an era of outsized historical opportunity according to this valuable data science indicator. But we have to stress at the same time that while the P multiple entering this green area has preceded great rebounds in Bitcoin's price action into new trends, reaching this green area hasn't meant that we're at the bottom right away, but it has meant that we're close to a bottom and it has preceded accumulation errors oftentimes at market lows, right over here and over here, for instance, and even over here, though the accumulation area here was very limited, but also we tend to see uh, the P multiple reach these areas, quite low areas, but form an accumulation error at highs for the first time ever in this case. And in fact, if we could, we, we might see for the second time ever an accumulation error form at highs as a result of this potential buy signal flashing here on the P multiple as well. In any case, guys, that's about it for today's video update. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. I'm Rex Capital, and I'll speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.